Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Paulina. Hello. It looks like you're having fun man, in the background. So good evening to the ones that are connected. It is good to have you here again, guys, in a new week. Basically, tonight we are going to start with the video conference number four, right? So we got a new topic to be discussing tonight. So I hope, you know, like we do have fun together, you know, just like trying to understand and practice uh, the main structure that we are going to be, you know, like working with, right? For the rest of the class, right? So more just getting connected. So while uh, these people are just getting connected, so I would like to know guys, how was your weekend? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? Did you guys work or you don't work on weekends. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? ¿Trabajaron o descansaron? O vienen con resaca porque nadie me quiere contestar. Algunos solo sábado trabajamos, teacher. Ah, just Saturdays. Ah. So yesterday you got a day off. Ah, I mean, that's good. That's good. What about you, Paulina? You look happy, man. How was your day? Oh, basically, your weekend. Mm, very, very good, teacher. Very good? <laughs> ah, that's nice. That is good. Okay, that's great. Uh, let me see who else is, is connected here. Uh, yeah, it's Carla. Yeah, okay, great. That's good. Right, so I'm glad that you're at home. I guess everybody's at home. So we are going to start with tonight's class. Give me one second. I don't know why I got issues with the attendance list. It is getting weird every time. Hmm. Give me one second. No, here it is. Where is it? Oh. Okay, so great. Let's just start with the attendance list. It's seven oh four, so we're gonna start over. Selina Janet. Hmm. All right, so Selena, I think it's not here yet. Christian Eduardo. All right, so Christian is now here. Denise Gerardo. Present. Okay, great. Diana Carolina. Diana, all right, so just not here. Diego Jose. Diego here? Um, no. All right, Elwin Ernesto. Present. Okay, excellent. Elwin Leonel. Present, dice. Okay, nice. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Okay, good. Uh, let's move Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, nice. Jorge Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Lisset. Present. Okay, good. Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, very good. Luis Humberto. Okay, so this is not here. 
Norma Jamilet. Present. Ok, nice. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Ok, good. Ronald Ulises. Is Ronald here? Ok, no, he's not here yet. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Walter Enrique. Mm -hmm. All right, so Walter is not here. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Ok, nice. Uh, Janira Isabel. Present. Ok, excellent. And we have the last one over here, Brenda Elizabeth, which is not here yet. Okay, this is the first time Brenda's not here. Okay, but anyways, probably she gets connected later on throughout the class time. So let's start with, you know, like the class and basically we are going to start over with a short review about the main topic that we guys have been discussing the previous class. Let's start a little bit with that. And then obviously we're going to move to the topic that we have for tonight. So let's start over with that. What do you guys remember from last class? Let's start over with that. What was the main topic that we were discussing last class? You guys remember? Ah, by the way, we had an activity, right? That we haven't finished. Vamos a dejar que los demás se conecten porque tenemos esa actividad pendiente. Got that activity that we need to finish. So, that somebody remembers El uso de can, sir. El uso de can. Okay. Mm -hmm. In what situations uh, gen do, do we generally use can? Mm. In question, in Sugerencia. Uh, okay. So basically, uh -huh. that's like basically the users, right? For uh, suggestions sometimes. Yeah, but mostly for information and Information or possibilities. Possibilities, right? Yeah, that's the key, right? For information, when we use the WH words, and for possibilities, when we use the just no question, if you remember, right? So it's like if I ask a question, hey, guys, can you turn on your cameras? And you say, I mean, yes, I can, right? Oh, yes, we can. What you doing there? So basically, that's a possibility about something, right? So what is information? Uh, for example, if I ask a, a question using a WH word, for example, right? Uh, where can you speak English? So in that case, you, you might say like, I mean, I can speak English in my workplace, for example, right? So in that case, so you are giving extra or additional information. So basically that's... Uh, like the main thing that we were discussing about the uses of can, right? Okay, great. Uh, that, how many are we? The 19. Hmm. Okay, I think we are enough just to start over with uh, the short activity that we have pending. If you remember, guys, we got a short activity with a couple of questions that we didn't finish last class but i'm like trying to uh get to know on that or, or update it on that right and get it out and christian yeah christian i already did it i passed the attendance list ya noté los que acaban de llegar así que don't worry okay okay great so let's start over jorge you're the first one on my list who did you work with in the activity, in the last activity that we didn't finish.
or hey, he got frozen. <laughs> Are you there, Jorge? Yeah. Jorge, are you there? Uh, I'm asking Jorge con quién trabajó en la última actividad. Erwin Gallego. Ajá. Is Griselda, let me see, Griselda, uh, just Griselda is in here. Griselda, I don't know. No, he's not here. Give me one second. He's here. Yeah, we don't have it here. Uh huh. Yo estaba trabajando con con él con con Jorge con Jorge creo que uh -huh. ajá y y el otro Edwin creo que se llama. Yeah, but Edwin is okay. Edwin is not here. Can you guys read what you have? Al menos lo que ustedes dos tienen, right? Ah, I mean Edwin is getting connected right now. Ooh. Hi, Edwin. Estaba siendo aclamado acá, Edwin. <laughs> And now you're complete. The group is complete. Y, y Edwin así como que, ah, ¿por qué me conecté ahorita? <laughs> so let's, let's wait for him. I think he's doing something else. Right? Let's wait for him just to get connected completely. Right? Just to solve it. Okay. How do you guys organize? Si me yes. Escucha, solo quería ver si me escucha. Yes. Okay, si sí, tenía problema con el micrófono. Mm, okay. No, but we can listen to you. All right, so I was asking Jorge, who did he work with in the previous activity, the last class? And he told me that he was working with you, Edwin, and with Griselda. So... Can you guys read the information that you uh, create related to the uses of can with the questions? Can you guys read it? Podrían leerme lo que tienen? Lo que hicieron? Okay. Number one. Can you move that platform to the warehouse? Mm -hmm. Who who practiced the answer on that question? Or you just did the questions? Yes, I can. Ah, okay. Good. Jorge, hey, you just did one question and that's it? Mm -hmm. Pero solo hizo una pregunta. Sí, se le da pregunta. Mm, okay, all right. What about you, Griselda? Can you seal the boxes, please? Okay, so I guess Edwin answered that question. ¿Usted respondió a esa pregunta, Edwin? Yes, I can. I can sell the box. Mm, okay, good. So I guess, Griselda, you just did one question also. También solo una pregunta hizo. 
Sí, teacher, usted dijo que hiciéramos una por este cada uno. Mm, okay, all right, so at the end, right, because we ran out of time. All right, Edwin, read yours. Yo tengo, eh, can you help me move the, the machine? Okay, can you help me move the machine? So, Jorge? Yes, I can, I can help you move the machine. Mm, okay, so I can help you move the machine. All right, there you go. Thank you, Jorge, Elwin, and Griselda. Now, Evelyn, who were you working with? I work on with uh, Luis Parrilla and Leo. Ah, with Parrilla and uh, Leonel, right? Sí. Ah, okay, great. Okay, read what you have. Nosotros trabajamos okay. en una conversación. Okay, go for it. Háganlo como lo estuvieron haciendo entonces. ¿Están ahí, chicos? Yes. Vaya. ¿Leo? Sí. Yes. Iniciamos entonces. Ok. Hello, Leo. This day, Mr. Ritz will come. He will ask for the product. When I do, I contact you and explain the quality and I get it. Leo. I get it. Uh, suena el teléfono. Okay. Uh, en ese momento suena el teléfono. Evelyn greets you. How can I help you? Hello, Evelyn. I would like to know what is the price of the new ceramic? Of course. I will gladly communicate it with the sales department. department. Okay. Tell me. I will communicate it with Mr. Reed. Ah, okay. Good morning, Mr. Parrilla. Good morning. Can you tell me what is the price of ceramic raccoon? The one made it costs twenty dollars and it has a ten press press and discount. Perfect discount. Perfect. I will take it. Take it. When can you go sell the product or would you like use to send it to you? Where can where can I pick up, excuse me? Where are located in front of Banco Agricola? Can you arrive with that information? Perfect. Yes, I can go through it. Thank you for assisting assisting me. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, all right, good. Okay, great. Thank you, Evelyn, Parrilla, and Leonel. All right, now let's move out on this. Uh, Paulina, who are you working with? Uh, con Diego y Ronald. Okay, good, let's go. Pero nosotros solo, solo hicimos las dos preguntas, nada más no respondimos. Ok, ¿cómo? Solo hicieron las preguntas, pero no las respondieron. Ajá, no hicimos respuesta. Ok, ya las vamos a hacer ahorita entonces. Ok, let's go. Empieza con las mías, después para los muchachos. Ok. Can you report the material? Es una. Uh -huh. Y la segunda es, where, where can you report the missing work? Mm, where can you report the missing work? Okay, good. Thank you. Ronald? Um, when can you help me repair the garments? And la otra es, can you help me clean the machine tomorrow? 
Mm, okay, all right. So that's like the one that you did. All right. Who else was working with you? Ah, Diego. All right. Is Diego here? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Diego, are you there? Can you move that box from my work area, please? Okay. Yes, I can. All right. No ah. respuesta fácil. Uh -huh. Okay. Es la good. primera. Sería una de doble question y una normal, así que así la hice yo. Okay. Good. La otra good. sería what What time can you move the box? Uh -huh. I can move. I I can move it right now. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Diego. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you to you three. Uh, let me see. Who else was last class in here? Norma. Yes. Ah, who eh, are you working? Con, con Christian y Brenda. All right. So with Christian and Brenda. Sí. Um, yo hice solo una teacher. <laughs> yo también. Yo sé que había una, pero no se me ocurrió más. ¿no? <laughs> okay, no problem. Dice... No problem. Let's read it. Por la lo menos primera dice: <laughs> Can I put this material here? All right. Y respuesta. Yes, yes, I can put, put it here. Mm, okay, I can put it here. Okay, there you go. Uh, Norma? La mía es, can you bring me black trees? Uh -huh. eh, la respuesta es, yes, I can. Okay, all right. Yes, I can. <laughs> there you go. So you just did one, right? Good. Who was the other one working with you? Y una WH, que bueno. La otra que escribí fue, uh -huh. who can help me with these boxes? Uh -huh. I am. Yes, I can. I can help you. <laughs> Mm, who can help me with the box? But eliminele el yes. Nada más déjele, I can help you. Right? So that would be the answer. Okay. Yeah, because cuando ya llevamos okay. una WS word, remember, we don't have a, uh, we don't have to answer with a yes, no uh, answer. So that's an open question. Okay, good. Okay. All right, great. Uh, let me see. Who else is missing? Walter. Were you here last class, Walter? Sí, teacher. Okay. Who were you working with in this activity? Mm, no he realizado la actividad como ahora me he conectado. O sea, no muy bien comprendo de lo que es, del tema que tienen ahorita. Porque el fin de semana, el viernes no me conecté porque se me fue el Inter, aquí se fue la luz. Mm, okay, so you didn't work on the on 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 the activity. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Ah, uh, let me see who else. Isabel, who are you working with? Eh, con Wendy and Miss Blanco. Miss Blanco. Ah, got it. Okay. All right. Can you read what you have? Wendy Karen empieza Okay Hey Wendy can you bear the quality of the piece Hi yes I can Karen Hi Isabel when Hi Wendy you... Hi when can you move the wall I can move it tomorrow Mr. Blanc, Miss Blanco, sorry. Where can I, I find a quality supervisor? You can find his in the quality office. Thank you. 
Bien, sí. Ok, good. Thank you, Isabel, Wendy, and Karen. I think it was, uh, uh, you, you, you were like the last ones. Creo que eran las últimas. Uh, or do I miss somebody else? Did you, did you, Sonia, you participated already, right? Yo tuve problemas el viernes con el internet, no tuve en ningún grupo. Ay, sí es cierto, usted es la que la que tuvo inconveniente, ¿verdad? Que no se pudo conectar a los breakout rooms. Sí, Now I remember. Ok, all right, no problem with that. Ok, so let's remember when you use can in a question with a WH word, that's basically when you ask for information. When you use can as a yes, no question, remember that in that case you're showing a possibility about something right so basically this is like what just uh did at the last part of that topic now what we are going to do is just to talk about something completely different so just give me one second i'm gonna project the presentation that we're gonna be working on for the rest of the class It's going to be this one. All right. Okay, so this is basically uh, the topic that we guys are going to be discussing for the rest of the class. Right? Tonight's topic, it's going to be how to use be going to. All right? So this is tonight's topic. How to use be going to. Do you guys remember about this topic? Because this topic you discussed the previous module so you were working on this on a module i remember if it was module number one or number two but i guess you have you have uh, a base of this one who remembers about this topic quien recuerda sobre este tema or who have seen or have studied practice this topic guys Nobody? Can somebody tell me what do I use be going to for? I can also be going to. O de plano no lo conocemos. Es, es, es cuando uno va a hacer una, una acción, digamos. El... Agendada. Mm -hmm, ok. It's basically when we want to talk about future actions, but those actions are scheduled, right? So for actions that you have planned, that you have even the time for doing them. Okay, good. So basically be going to is to create future statements or to talk about future actions, right? So basically that's what it is. All right, let's go into the class agenda. What's like the most relevant that we have for the rest of the class? We just did the feedback from the previous class, something that we just finished. Now we're going to start over with be going to explanation and structure. We're going to see uh, the structure in positive statement, negative statements, and questions, right? So you guys are going to provide a couple of examples. After that, we're going to do a couple of exercises and then we're going to move into the manual because in there we have a couple of activities that we need, you know, like to cover uh, with this uh, structure, right, uh, specifically. Okay, so this is like the most relevant. Now, let's start over with a couple of questions before starting the structure. All right. Uh, Dennis, can you please help me on reading this question? Yeah. What are the different types of delivery service in the country? Okay, great. Let's start. These are like open questions, guys, related to the topic that we're going to be discussing in the manual. And it says, what are the different types of delivery services in the, in the country? The ones that you guys know or have knowledge of it. All right, which ones are they? Can somebody mention at least one delivery service that we have in the country? 
Um, la pizza. <laughs> okay. Pizza has all right. It has a delivery. Okay. Good. And um, el agua. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. All right. And when it comes to packages, y cuando hablamos de envío de de paquetes, documents and everything. What are the delivery services there? <laughs> that you guys know? Oh, you don't know any delivery service with packages? Mm, you Ubers. Okay, in a zone, how Ubers can work that way. All right. What else? For example, I'm going to mention one mainly here in El Salvador. It's like Correos. That's another one that delivers packages, right, from one place to another one. Good. Besides Correos, what else? Do you? In comments. Okay. That's another one. Uh-huh. Uh, here, it's another one called, uh, let me see, Urbano. There's another one, right? that delivers packages. And we got DHL, for example, that that's another provider, right? Just just to come up with, you know, like ideas on that. Okay, so in this case, guys, do you know if your company, the one that you're working for, right, use any of those delivery services? What's the most common delivery service that, that your company use? Entrega de materiales de costura. Ah, all right. Yeah, basically that, that's one, right? Okay, good. Somebody else? That remembers any other uh, kind of delivery service that uh, your company guys uh, do or has? Or in this case, use? Los servicios de entrega que ella envía o recibe. Ambos. Serían en airport. Ah, by airport? Okay, all right. And when they receive, which company do they use? All right. What? Mm, okay. All right. Might be that one. All right. Okay. So, yeah, man. I guess you're like me, man. So I don't know like that much from the company we've been working for. So, all right. So let's try to omit that because it's like a little bit tedious for you guys and makes you think a lot on that. And let's go straight into the structure. I don't want to, you know, like stress you up with this kind of, you know, like questions. Now, you got this one. Be going to. All right. It says. Be going to, it's mostly used to talk about future actions. So it's something that you guys told me before, right? It's algo que hace rato me dijeron, right? So, and you got it here. Okay, so we got a couple of examples in here just for you guys to have an idea. Maria, tell me right in this one. I'm going to prepare the presentation. Okay, there you go. I am going to prepare the presentation. In here, I am talking about a future action, right? Why? Because it's something that is not developed yet or not finished yet. All right, so we got another one in here. Uh, Christian, help me out reading. She's 
she is going to visit her relative next next week. Her relatives next week. Okay, thank you, Christian. It says she is going to visit her relatives next week, right? Just like I mean, ella visitará, right? Sus familiares la próxima semana. So that's something basically established, right? Something that probably it's not merely true, but it is a schedule. All right. So we got another one in here. Sonia, help me a reading, please. Sonia, are you there? You are going to work until late today. Until late today. Okay, thank you. That's what it says. You're going to work until late today. All right, so in that case, it's like, I mean, tú trabajarás hasta tarde ahora. Right, so what are we talking about there? So we are talking about a future action, okay? So we, we are just discussing a couple of examples, right? So right after this slide, I'm going to show you the way how to create sentences in a correct way using the structure. And here, guys, you have the structure. Y acá está la que siempre tenemos que seguir, right? So the structure of this, uh, you know, uh, grammatical aspect. So we got the subject. Remember that the subject can be any pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, they, or a proper noun, right? Like Ronald, like the students, right? So that's like, you know, a proper noun, right? When it's singular or plural. And then after the subject, what do we have? We have be going to. Remember that when you use B, you divide B in three words. What are those three words? You got am, is, and are. You got three different structures. What do we use am for? Oh, what's the pronoun that we generally combine with am? I. Okay, I. Right. So, and what are the pronouns that we use with is? She, he, she, it, it, it. Okay. And a singular noun, right? Y un nombre en singular, also. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. And are? What are the pronouns that we generally use with are? We. They, we, they, you. Okay, cool. You, they, and we, right? And plural nouns also. Remember that, plural nouns, right? So we can use it like that. And then you have going to, which is basically the structure. After that, we have main verb. What's the main verb in the, in the case there? The main verb will depend on the action that we want to talk about. And after the main verb, you have the complement. What do we use the complement for? So basically, we use the complement for make or, or, or to make, in this case, right, the uh, sentence more specific, the message more specific. All right, take a look at the examples here. Got the first one, all right? Uh, let me see. Evelyn, help me out reading the first example. I am going to send emails tomorrow. Okay, great. It says I'm going to send emails right tomorrow. Good. Now, Paulina, help me out reading the second one. You are going to finish the report in two hours. Okay, very good. So that's a future action, right? Even if the action is short. All right, Edwin, let me read in this one, please. She's 
she is going to do the homework tonight. Okay, very good. So you see, she is going to do the homework tonight. So what do I want you guys to, to see in this case is how the verb, all right, and the structure changed when you use the pronouns. Basically, the verb to be that is acting like an auxiliary verb here changes. So you see, with I goes um, with you goes are, and with she goes is. All right. So this is like the way that we got to remember how to create, you know, like sentences like this. All right. So we got another one here. All right. Uh, let me see. Who can help me out with these two? Dennis? Let's read the last one, please. Yeah. He is going to watch TV next week. Okay, there you go. You see? He is going to watch TV next week, right? It's como, ah, verá televisión la próxima semana. That's too much time. Okay, but you see, that's a future action, right? That you got there. Okay, great. So, using, using the structure, I think we don't have like that many issues, right? Oh, do you have any question with this, guys? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Any doubt related to this structure in positive statements? Do you guys have any question? Que no, no cambia el verbo con ninguno de los tres. No. The main verb, el verbo principal, permanece intacto. Even on third person, you don't have to include an S, uh, ES, or IES. It's, it's the base form of the verb all the time. The only one that changes, the one that I'm telling you here, it's the verb to be. It's the only one that changes. So you see, for he, you got is. For she, the same thing, you got is. For you, you got R, and for I, you got am. Um. So that's it. That's the only change that you have. And then the main verb, you see, it's in base form. This one over here, it's in base form. Why? Because basically there's no need to uh, modify the verb if the verb be, it's basically doing the modification. So that's the reason why. All right. Any other questions, doubts? Dudas, preguntas? Everything okay? Okay, good. If you don't have questions, it means that everything is clear. If everything is clear, you will not have any problem, all right, by doing a sentence about you okay good can you guys tell me an activity that you are going to do tomorrow it can be related to your job it can be related to uh, any other activity that you pretend to do tomorrow can you guys give me an example about any activity that you are going to do tomorrow I am going to have a lunch. <laughs> okay, good. Very practical. I am going to have a lunch. There you go. Somebody else? Alguien más? I am going to work. I am going to visit my grandmother good. next week. I am going to visit my grandmother next week. Okay, good. Thank you, Parri, and thank you, Evelyn. You did it excellent. All right, guys. Somebody else? Alguien más? She is going to play soccer. Mm, okay, great. That's another one. Great. Somebody else? Alguien más de los que tienen la cámara apagada? Están ahí o se me durmieron ya? I am going to go to the beach next weekend. <laughs> okay, good. Ay, quisiera poder decir lo mismo. All right. Anyways, let's continue. Somebody you else? Can. <laughs> huh? 
What do you say, Denise? ¿Qué dijo Denise? You can. <laughs> Obviously, I can, but I don't have time. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't have time. That's the problem. I come, I going to sleep 9 p.m. <laughs> I am going to sleep at 9 p.m. <laughs> at 9 p.m. voy a estar pasando la asistencia, así que 9 <laughs> or 5 maybe. <laughs> okay, thank you, Christian. Norma, do you have any... Que tengan la any... cámara encendida. Exactly. Ahora sí, que tengan la cámara encendida porque para mí que oh, ya yeah. están... Para mí que ya están hasta con la pijama, la almada, con todo y solo dicen así, presen, es todo así, presen, no sé, y ahí quedan. <laughs> no, that's that happen. Espero no me pase como en módulos anteriores. Ya ha pasado que a veces un estudiante, bueno, <ríe> al módulo antepasado, pues, había un estudiante que quizás andaba súper cansada, que se conectó a la clase y en chiste ahora participé, comenzó a participar, pero luego de, ¿qué? 15 minutos de clase, se desconectó de una manera que nada, e, e, y hablarle, y hablarle, y hablarle, y vaya, para mala suerte, deja el micrófono encendido, right y allá a lo lejos se escuchaban los ronquidos que estaba dando. Y todo así como que, ¡Ah, se durmió, fulana, que no sé qué. All right. No, and, no for real. Terminamos la clase. A la, eh, we finished the class. Terminamos la clase a las 10, 15 de la noche, porque era de 8 a 10. And she continued sleeping, man. Así que espero no les pase a ustedes, right? Menos mal, no, yo no ronco, no, no, no. si no, que no hay problema. No me esperan. Por eso les voy a pedir la cámara encendida, no va a ser, Paulina, are you there? Y Paulina por el quinto sueño, man. Ay, Dios, ya, ya, ya soñando que nada no trabajando. Soñando, Paulina. Paulina, usted no se escucha por esto. Hablando, soñando, ¿Ah? Soñando, Paulina, que el jefe le está gritando. Y, y Paulina hirviendo los tamales. Ok. Ok, Isabel, no problem. Sí, supongo que ahí está Isabel, así que no, no problem. Ok, good. No, deja que mal los tamales, Paulina. Dice. All right. No, te dice como <laughs> ok, good. Va a prender la cámara los poquitos pinches que después manejan leña. <laughs> es que ya se le va, ya, si ven, se estaba arreglando el pelo, ya se levantó de la cama corriendo a, a sentarse a la silla ahí. No. Tenía intenciones, pero no. Ok, ok. <laughs> All right, good. Somebody else who owes me an example. Alguien más que me deba un ejemplo. Yeah, Edwin. I'm going to work tomorrow. I am going to work tomorrow. Okay, good. Good one. Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to work tomorrow, right? So even me. Ah, so sad. Okay, great. Uh, Griselda, you gave me an example. I am going to go to the beach. Next week. Ah, yeah, the, you're the one from the example, right? For, for the witch next week. Ah, again, so sad. All right, thank you. Uh, Wendy, Diego, Walter, you're missing. Uh, un ejemplo de, de eso. Yeah. Sí. They are going to play next Sunday. Mm, okay, good, good, thank you. Uh, Wendy? I'm going to study at night. All right, good. I am going to study at night, basically. Good. So you can say, I am going to finish classes at nine. All right, that's another one. Good. Diego? I am going to wash my clothes. <laughs> I am going to wash my clothes. Okay, good. That's on Sundays, brother. All right, thank you. Uh, I guess everybody has given me, given me an example. So 
that this idea, guys, about how to use this structure in positive statements, right? Now, let's do it, but in negative statement. This is a little bit easy because uh, we don't need that much, uh, you know, like modifications to when it comes to negative statements. So take a look at this. All right, so basically we got kind of the same structure. You got the subject plus B, but what is the difference? After B, you have to use not. That is the only difference, right? So remember that B is divided in am, is, and are. So basically right after those three, you have to use the word not, and then going to, and then the main verb, and then the complement. For example, right, look at this one. So here we got a negative statement. Leonel, help me a reading, please. Help me a reading. Leonel, are you there? Un video. I am, I am not going to buy a new cell phone. Okay, great. So you see, I am not going to buy a new cell phone. And then he apparently says that he needs one. <laughs> you need a cell phone, Dennis? Or what? Ya no quiere este. <laughs> like, like, like mine, man. The last time I forgot, I forgot to, to I, I was, uh, you know, like getting off of my car and it was raining, right? And I put it in, in you know, like on top of, of the car. I put it there just to take some bags that I was bringing home. And guess what? I totally forgot about the cell phone and it started raining a lot, man. And the cell phone got wet, man. It, it, it spent the whole the whole raining. And I was like, ha, I stayed with no cell phone and guess what? Then the next morning I just put it on the sun and it works perfectly. That's good. Cuando no tenga plata se me va a arruinar. <laughs> Things are like that. Man. When you don't have money, ah, man, they start breaking up and everything. <sighs> it happens. Okay, good. So let's... Huh? Post of pobreza. All right. No, that's true, Isabel. Es cierto eso. No, yeah, it is, it is true. It is true. Last time I ordered a book on Amazon. La última vez ordené un par de libros en Amazon. Pasé tres meses esperando sus benditos libros. Man. Like, ah, tal fecha le van a venir, tal fecha le van a venir. All right, good. Justamente la semana que yo me había quedado sin plata porque el carro se lo tenía en el taller. Guess what? Me cae la notificación. Ah, mire, fulano de tal, le traemos sus libros mañana donde se los podemos ir a dejar. And I was like, what? And I was like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. And it was $60, brothers. So just imagine $60. Así de hermosa es la vida. But anyways. <laughs> it is like that. Okay, good. Let's continue with this. Si no vamos a llorar. Norma, help me read in this example, Norma. Exagerado, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> ah, no, it, it happens, it happens. Yo tengo una suerte para eso. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Obviously, I mean, I had to lend money. Y la necesitaba, man. It was for work. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, Norma, help me read in this example, please. You are not going to drive the car. Okay, so you see, you're not going to drive uh, the car, right? So basically, that's a future action, but in negative, right? 
So basically, remember, the key is basically to use not after am, is, and are, depending on the subject that you are using, right? So we got another one here. Uh, let me do who is... Who's next? Selena, can you please help me a reading? He is not going to send the products. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So you see, he is not going to send the product, right? So basically, we're talking about a third person, right? So okay. that's like the way how, guys, we can create a negative statement using, all right, be going to. Good. Until here, do you have any question with this? Any doubt? Oh, everything is okay, guys. Is everything clear? Está todo claro como la camisa de Paulina? Or claro, claro. ¿Eh? Claro como la horchata. <laughs> okay, como la salguate, dicen unos por ahí. Okay, there you go. Okay, so if everything is clear, let's jump onto the next structure because we are behind. Now, let's start now with the structure using be going to, but in just no questions, right? And here, guys, you have the structure for a just no question. On a just no question, you start with the verb to be at the beginning. Remember that basically when we use or when we mention be, it's because we are going to start with am, um, is, or are, depending on the subject. Because after B, you got the subject, plus going to, plus the main verb, and plus the complement, right? And at the end, obviously, the question mark. So this is basically what you guys have, right? Yes. Okay, good. So you got the examples in here, a couple of examples. Maria, help me read in the first example. Are you going to play soccer tomorrow? Okay, there you go. So you see, are you going to play soccer tomorrow? Right, so that's totally a yes, no answer, right? And question. So what are the two models of answer this question? Yes, I am. If it is positive, it's just like that. Yes, I am. And if it is negative, you got, no, I'm not. Right? So that's what you have, guys, on here. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. All right. Good. I don't know if you are copying this. Uh, are you taking notes? ¿Están tomando nota? Sí. Great. Sí, dice. Let, let me know when you finish, okay? So that way we can move on to the next slide. Brenda, que calladita ahí, ¿no, Brenda? ¿A qué horas llegó, Brenda? He didn't see you. You didn't say, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> you got the microphone off, Brenda. If you're speaking to me, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Hi. How was your day, man? It must be tiring because you look tiring. Oh, me arro la noche, teacher. Tuve un contratiempo y no me pude conectar. Mi teléfono. Estaban hablando de teléfonos que ya están por dar el toque final. El mío está colapsando. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I can tell. No, mine, mine is, is because. Well, este ya. 
todo se traga. No, dice. Tengo muchas fotos, dice. Y me repetían, ya no aguanta nada. <ríe> exactly. Um, technology. Finish, teacher, finish. Okay, good. Um, um. All right, so I guess everybody has already finished. So let's move on to the next slide. All right, so we got a couple of more examples in here. Brenda, now that you're here, can you please help me out reading this question? Uh, yeah. Yes. Is she going to store the products? Okay, so you see, is she going to store the products? Carla, read both uh, possible answers. Yes, she is. And the negative? No, she isn't. Okay, no, she, isn't. Uh, she isn't. Oh, no, she's not. That's another way, right? Thank you, Carla. So basically, this is the way how you answer in a very short uh, way, right? This couple of questions. So you see, is she going to store the products? Ah, yes, she is or no, she isn't, right? Good. So this is the way how you got it. It's like, uh, let me see, who can say it? Is Lionel going to pay attention to the activity? So everybody might say, ah, yes, he is, right? Or if you think no, no, he isn't. So you got uh, like both ways to answer to questions like that. All right, let's move on, on to the next one. Griselda, help me a reading, please. Se nos durmió Griselda. Griselda, ¿y de? Dijo Griselda. Yes. <laughs> Are Laura and Angel going to read the article? Article. How do you say article? Article. Article. Yeah. Article. Yeah, uh, right. Laura and Angel going to read article. Okay, the article. Thank you, Griselda. So you see, in there we use are because you got two nouns, right? You got two people. You got Laura and you got Angel, right? So that's just the way, uh, right? How you got it. All right. So you got the possible answers in there. Yes, they are because it's plural or no, they aren't. Right? As easy as that. Good. All right, so let's copy that, guys, because later on, we're going to move on to the information questions. I need you to know how to create an information question. Teacher, en, en la respuesta cuando no, ahí en la negativa, cuando dice no, they aren't, no podría decir no, they not. They are not. Yeah, it, it, like this. Give me one second. I'm going to write it down. possible. In here, you can say even no, they, they are not. Like this. No, they are not. This is another way. That's one. Okay. All right, so let me know when you finish uh, taking notes so I can move on. Finish this here. Okay, nice. Now, let's jump on to the next category of questions. In here, guys, we got information questions. This is a little bit different, right? 
Okay, so we got the structure over here. All right, so let's read what we have in here. So let me see who can help me out reading this. Christian, can you help me out reading the structure, please? Christian, are you there? No estaba muerto, andaba de parranda. <ríe> Christian. Ah, yo soy. <ríe> Le recibí <ríe> al hardware. <ríe> y el sol. Estoy agarrando no señal. Se no, 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 no. <ríe> no le cargaba al guay. Cristian, Cristian. Ah, yo soy. <laughs> Come on, brother. Where, what are you doing? Hi, what is W? Okay, good. W is work. Uh -huh. Must be, must subject, must going to, last, uh -huh. may bear, la, last complement. Okay, plus the question mark, right? Good. <laughs> so basically, this is a structure that you guys need in order to create, right, information questions. Remember, the WS word, that it can be what, what time, where, when, uh, which, who, why, right, depending on what you want to ask, plus B, plus the subject, and then after that, you got the going to structure, and then you got the main verb, and at the end, you got a complement. All right, so take a look at this example, right? Placed on that structure. Mm -hmm. Sonia, help me read it. Where is the company going to send the pa package? Packages. Packages. Okay, there you go. It says, where is the company going to send the packages, right? So take a look at the answer. Here it's not a just no question. Here it's asking about a place, right? Donde. So this is the model of answer that we got here. Evelyn, help me out reading the answer, please. Where is the The company, the company is going to sell. Evelyn? Packages. Are you there, Evelyn? And that's where Evelyn. The company is going to send the package. The packages to Mexico. Okay. I think Evelyn. Yes, to Mexico. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Evelyn. I think you got issues with the internet because because it, it looks like like kind of robotic the, the the sound. All right, but it says in here the company is going to send the packages to Mexico, right? So basically, it's the way how it says. All right. So I don't know, guys, if you are going to take notes about it. Uh, okay, with this kind of questions, do you have any question? Any doubt? Alguna duda que tengamos con esta estructura? The information questions? Okay, good. Teacher, entonces yeah. una, una última cosa. Los information, information question, estos los where, los who, los why, siempre se usan para hacer, dar, para dar más respuestas complejas. Entonces, ya en el uso de, del pan, en el uso este del going to. Exactly. Básicamente, cuando usamos una WH word, recuerde que ya pedimos información adicional sobre dónde cómo, con quién, uh -huh. cuándo, a qué horas una acción pasa o va a pasar. 
Ah, ok, sí, porque así estoy revisando. Ya, yeah. recuerde que si hablamos... All right. recuerde que si ponemos when, estamos hablando a futuro, when, vamos a dar un día en, en específico, right, o una fecha en específico en la respuesta. Si decimos what time, estamos buscando una hora, right? So, si decimos where, estamos hablando de o preguntando sobre un lugar, right? So, it will depend. Si decimos who, estamos preguntando sobre quién es una acción, right? So, eh, va a depender de la WH word que utilicemos, right? So, it will depend on, on which WH word okay. you use. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Okay, great. All right, great guys. Basically, this is like the information that I got you related to this structure. Now I'm going to stop sharing here and I want we to go straight to the manuals, okay? I want guys you to go to the manual and specifically to the page number 15. Go to page 15. And you got a shopping label here. We're gonna start with an assure activity here. So you got a shopping label here. All right, shipping label, actually, not shopping, shipping. All right, so it says here on this page, check the information in the following shipping label. So this shipping label is like a receipt that you got here, information. Let's take a look at it and let's read it. It says from, right? From, it's basically the, the, the company that, that sends the, the package, right? So you got Traverse Inc., uh, 23, Glenway, San Carlos. This is like California, right? And it says certified 70 made in the U.S. Two, it's basically where it goes, right? The package. And it says to Literal Road, number 34, La Unión, El Salvador, right? So you got a number, tracking number here. And then you got a here, the tracking number. So you got this uh, serial over here, right? This is the tracking of the order. The quantity, it says 65 units. Shipment, this is the code of the shipment. And the sender, this is the code of the sender. And we got another kind of numbers in here. We don't know what is that about. And then it says in here, the date, right? In which this shipping label started, all right? And it says in here that it's on April the 12th, 2013, right? And this is the wave, 120 pounds. This is the weight of the, the whole shipping. Okay, with this label that we got here, right? So we are going to answer these questions. Vamos a responder a estas preguntas con ese shipping label, right? Con ese recibo de envío que tenemos ahí. Dice, read the shipping label information and answer the questions. What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are there in the package? What is the manufacturing date? So basically all this information is going to be found in there, okay? Good, for this activity, I am going to send you guys to work in pairs. Así vamos a compartir ideas, right? And share more like, you know, like as classmates. So I'm going to stop sharing this. All right, and let's go to work on that. But I would like to know, guys, is everybody uh, up to participate? I'm asking about uh, Walter, Diego, Isabel, Griselda, Karen, Carla, Norma, Paulina, Leonel, Selena, Dennis, Christian, no se han dormido. Are you guys there? <laughs> Es que no, 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 no. Okay, good. And you're like, oh, no, teacher, ¿cómo se le ocurre si yo voy despertando ahorita? Teacher, es que estamos con los cachetes llenos ahorita. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. Hoy estamos comiendo ahí en clase. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay, great. So if everybody's in here and uh, ready to participate, I'm going to create, let me see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I got 19 people. So I'm gonna recreate them as three. Give me one second. Hmm. Number seven. Okay, good. Let's accept it and let's go to work in pairs, guys, and do that activity. Dun, dun, dun. Then we're going to come back and, and discuss it, okay? Let's go. Try to enter, please. Denle en aceptar, por favor. Teacher, a mí no me aparece. Mm. Es que tengo mala señal. Me salí, tuve que entrar de nuevo. Ah, ok. Give me one second. Number one and number two. Ok, try out now. Inténtenlo ahora. Walter and Eske, is our kid for help. Walter Enrique. Ok, good. Demos aceptar. Selena, Jorge, uh, Parrilla, Karen. Please try to enter. Teacher, ¿qué dijo que íbamos a hacer? A entrar a los breakout rooms porque vamos a desarrollar la actividad. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Who was Walter in case? Vamos a hacer una carta. Peter, vamos a responder Peter. las preguntas de la página número catorce, quince. Hello. Oh my God, I wasn't speaking to myself. Sorry, guys. Yeah, eh, la página 15. Um, y la van a responder con relación al shipping label que tienen ahí. Right, el pequeño... No, a responder con relación a la cosita verde que tenemos. Correcto, correcto. A ese que tienen ahí, right? Esa es la información que necesitan right. ahí para responder. Okay. Yep. Gracias. Okay. Vaya a mandar una factura. Vaya a dejarla hacer y de menos copia. No, está sin vergüenza, Walter. Deja el TikTok ahorita. No, si yo tengo el móvil abierto. Vamos a compartir. Disculpe, Cristian, pero yo estaba en la cocina cuando dijeron que un. Glenda, dice Glen, güey. San Carlos, California, 0570. Si no me equivoco, es ese día. ¿no? no sé, mira ahí. Otra vez desde arriba que lo veo, Frono. 
driver. No sé, quiero ver. Creo que no es ese. O sí. O sí. Espérame. Es que tiene dos puntos. Espérate, sí, espérame, quiero ver. Quitar las letras. Quitar las letras. O bajarlo, bajarlo para ver. Dice, ¿cuál es? Dice, la Wiki, hombre. Soy por la unión. No me llamas a ver, espérame. The meeting address. Y ya solo se ríe. Just observing. Just watching. Ah, que me está fallando casi nada. From travel to the cell. Ah, que te lo guardes. Chipping es envío. Envío. Entonces, ¿Me puedes dejar la primera? La primera. Uh -huh. Bye. ¿Estás de acuerdo, Diego? Para mí es la otra. Diego. Envío. Para mí. Y, y... Para mí es la otra. Donde dice tú. Literal Road. Sorry for la unión El Salvador. Envío, o sea, como para dónde va el. Lo que uh -huh. se va a mandar. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Esa sería. ¿Y en la segunda? Diego. ¿Sí? <ríe> Diríjanos, usted es el macho de la... <ríe> No, aquí estamos todos para. Sí. sí. En la segunda sería el, 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 la que estábamos diciendo de primera. Dirección, dirección de envío, dice la segunda. Dirección ah, sí, de, de, ajá, de dónde viene. La primera, uh -huh. la dirección de envío. La segunda. Dirección. Mailing dress. What is the mailing address? Dirección de envío. De envío. And shipping address, what is that? ¿Qué quiere decir shipping, pues? Yo estoy perdida. Dirección de envío. Dirección de envío y mailing. También. También dirección de envío. What is the ah. difference? Pero hay una diferencia entre las dos. The shipping, shipping address es de donde sale el producto. Bro. Mailing address uh -huh. es de donde Bro. va a ir. Como dijo, teacher. <laughs> Shipping address is the origin of the order. Mailing address Ajá, is de donde viene. where the order goes. Mm -hmm. Ah, vaya. Entonces, shipping is from La primera. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y mailing uh -huh. es litoral road. Donde dice tú. Yeah. ¿Dónde va? Ajá. Uh -huh. um... Strong es la primera y tú la segunda. 
Gracias, teacher. Okay. <sighs> No te no vayas. Hello, how do we go here? ¿Cómo vamos? Hello, teacher. Okay, good, good. All right, no questions? No, creo que ya terminamos. Ah, nice, nice. No question. Okay. Todo eso era, dice, las preguntas esas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go and check another group. If they have already finished, we're going to go to the main section. Okay. Como no recordar esta fecha también. You guys finished? Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Who is next? Vaya, de nuevo me pregunto. What is the shipping address? The shipping address is Travers Inn 23, 23 Glen Way, San Carlos, California, 0575. Zero. Five, five. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> What is the mailing address? The meeting address is Little Road, number 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. How many units are in the packet? The units are the 55 units. Mm -hmm. What is the manufacturing date? Uh, the manufacturing date is 12. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Tenemos una duda, teacher. Okay, tell me. Con el código postal. ¿Los códigos postales llevan letras o solo números? Uh, it depends. La mayoría es solo números. Uh, mailing address. No, no, but the mailing address is basically the place where the order go. That's the mailing address. Porque código postal en inglés es zip code. Mailing address es básicamente hacia dónde va el paquete. Oh, entonces sería shipping address. Shipping address is basically a uh, shipping order. address. Is the origin of the product, the order. Entonces están mal. Es el es el from. Yeah. Exactly. The mailing is el to. Ah, y el 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 shipping es el from. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ah, ok. Ok, entonces sería Trawars. Al revés, está entonces. <risa> you got it back. Invertimos, le ponemos este sí y este no. <risa> Thank you very much, teacher. Ok. Entonces, de orden, de nuevo. Entonces, what is the shipping address? Es el from. Yo te dije, ¿viste que te dije? Yeah. 
estaba en toda la razón, bro. Pero yo en mi necia actitud no le hice caso. Ay, ya, bájale el drama. No te hagas el víctima. Trowers <risa> in... in... Al revés la teníamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, la dos seguimos. Megalyn Adras. Megalyn. ¿Qué es Megalyn entonces, dicho? Megalyn, dirección de envío. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Hacia dónde va el producto? Megalyn Literal Road. Literal Road. Uh -huh. pero no teacher, digo entonces teacher, vaya. Y, 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 teacher, y entonces de la de la del código postal cuál sería mm, no pero es que ahí no aparece código postal ¿sí? mm. uh, mailing address okay teacher y, y ese donde dice sender a qué se refiere sender no ese es como un código del que envía en la orden. Ah, como un correlativo. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ah, ok. El shipment es como el número de, de envío también. Right? So, tienen la, la fecha ahí donde dice MG, MFG, date. Tiene que es ahí diciembre, 4 de diciembre del 2013. Peso 120 libras. ¿Cómo es una sola entonces el uh, money unit? How many units? Packages. No, it's in there. Quantity in quantity. Uh -huh. Sixty-five unity. Exactly. All right. Are you about to finish? Yes. Finish. Okay. Nice. Vámonos a la sala principal. Entonces, we need to check that porque luego vamos a pasar a la otra actividad. Okay. La, la fecha sí estaba correcta, Ronald. La del mano la del qué? La del manufacturing date. Yeah. Esa sí era esa del okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So everybody's coming. All right. So just to check what you have over there, and then we're gonna go back to right to what it is. All right, guys, so let's start over with the checking of what you did, okay? So I'm going to get in here. 
I'm gonna write down the na, 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 this one over here, and it says, "What is the shipping address, guys?" So we can start over by saying over here, the shipping address is uh -huh. what is it? Literal rural. Mm. No, esa es la dirección hacia dónde va el paquete. Traverse in 23, Lenway, San Carlos, sí, ahí. Sí, ahí, like this. Basically, this is what it is. Esta es, cuando dice uh, shipping address, se refiere básicamente a eh, de dónde sale, right? De dónde sale el paquete. Mm -hmm. The product in this case, right? So now, what is the mailing address? Is where the uh, package go to. But what is the mailing address? The mailing address is the road. All right, so it's lit Littoral Road. Number 24. Number 24. 34. Ah, 34. 34. Uh -huh. La Unión El Salvador. Okay. All right. How many units are there in the package? The units of the package are 55. 55. Uh, no, in here there is no code. Aquí no tenemos código postal. Uh, porque si nos pidiesen un código postal, aparecería así: uh, zip code. Zip code, por lo general, significa código postal. Right. Okay. Yeah. What is the manufacturing date? Por lo general en le, en well, inglés, well. Por lo general en inglés comenzamos con el mes. ¿Qué mes sería? April. Are you sure? January. No, listen, listen, listen. I read it wrong. Lo leímos mal. Pensábamos que lo estábamos leyendo en la, en la versión español, pero es en inglés. Así que el 12, que es el mes. December. Entonces, ¿Qué sería? December. Four. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so you got the date over here. Entonces sería esa la. Um, mm -hmm. In English, the, the date is, the date is starts uh, uh, with the month and then the day, right? Se dieron duro los chuchos. All right, so let's continue with this. I am going to erase this part and now let's try to move on, on to the next page, guys. On the next page, you got a couple of examples about what we have been discussing. So we are not going to pay attention to this because it's something that we just did. What do I really want? I want we to focus on here. Quiero que nos enfoquemos acá porque esto es lo que vamos a ir a trabajar. It says, put in the words in orders, then answer the questions. Here, guys, you have disorganized words. 
right? What you have to do is scramble those words and put them in the correct order over here to create the question and then give the answer to this question, okay? That's all I want. The words are disorganized, okay? Are disorganized. You have to put them in order to create a question. When you finish to create the question, create the answer, please, okay? Right next to it, create the answer, all right? Do you guys have any question about what you're going to do on those three sentences? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre lo que he dicho? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? No? Nice. Ok, I got it. All right. Once done this one, all right. Once you finish, una vez hayan terminado esta parte, I want you to go down. Y vamos a trabajar nada más en este, porque el tiempo no nos va a ajustar. Dice, create a shipping label. Quiero que en base al shipping label que tienen en la página anterior, me hagan uno, ¿ok? Como si ustedes estuviesen enviando un paquete. Pongan una dirección hacia donde lo van a enviar y pongan la dirección del de shipping address and el mailing address, ¿ok? The units that you're sending, uh, what else? Mm, the pounds, the weight, you know? And basically, that's going to be everything, right? Take the shipping label that you got as example in the previous page to create one, ¿ok? Right? Pueden, pueden ser cualquier, cualquier producto. The idea is, right, that you create one in pairs. Now, I'm going to stop sharing here. And if you have extra question, please let me know in the breakout rooms, okay? So I am going to assign you again. Jesus. <laughs> Somebody's happy, man. All right. Give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, what did I do? I got two. I got two. All right, great. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work, guys. Let's please accept the joining to the breakout room and let's go to work on the activity. Todavía está en la capacitación. Sí. Vamos a ordenar las letras primero. ¿va? Yes. Las preguntas. Okay. Son preguntas. WH questions. Sería uh, where where are we going to where mm -hmm. porque Porque el verbo sería, el verbo sería the package. 
Ajá, la primera. Where, where, where are you? Where are going to the packet pick up? Oh, no, pero me estoy comiendo el day. No lo veía. Ajá, pero está el day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Where are going to... Creo que sería como where are they going to? Ajá. Así sería, dicho. No, <ríe> andamos no, perdida. Listen, tienen que seguir la estructura de la pregunta. Ahí la, la copiaron, yo se las di. Entonces, sigamos esa estructura, ese orden. Because the first one is a question. For example. All right. On that, we have, for example, let me see. Tenemos en la número uno, dice, Our pickup, they were going to the package. ¿Qué iría primero en esa pregunta? Según la regla que... Where. Le... Ok, good. After where? The bear are. Ah, ajá, ajá. Where are? Where are going to? Mm, are you sure? ¿Estás segura? Vea la estructura que le di. Sí, Check. dice W W D. No, eh? Sería de, sería, sería como where ah. are they going? No, me estoy equivocando. Uh, yeah, you're sí, going sí, good, sí. you're going good. Así es. Where are they going? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where are they going to... Going... Pick up the package. Exactly. Pack. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Package. 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 Yes. Package. In this case, en package. este caso, el verbo package. es el, es pick up. Ah, oh, pero no entendí. Pero no había visto también el de. Pick up. You know what is that? ¿Saben qué significa pick up? Como, como un pick up. Eh, sí, sí, pero pick up. <risa> <risa> no, lo digo el otro día, pero me he olvidado. Sí. No, no sé, no sé. Ya no me acuerdo. <risa> pick up in this case. Lo dijo, pero a mí Ya, pick up in this case significa recoger. Oh. That's what it is. Recoger. Ahora entiendo por qué los picas de disco pica. <risa> Entonces, sí. <risa> Yo tenía dudas, pero no, algo me acordaba que no era... Que, porque me acordaba que dijo que es la única frase que sí le aprendimos en inglés, pero que no le damos el significado correcto. Yo no, yo no me acordaba ya que eso significaba. Yo no me acordaba. ¿Verdad que sí fue que dijo? Uh -huh. That's true. Right. So, siguiendo la misma the secuencia, packet. Packet, dice que... siguiendo la misma secuencia, hagamos las demás, ¿ok? Recuerden que me le van a dar respuesta. Y le vamos a... Ay, eso es lo que le iba a decir. Justo a la par está la sigla para la red, el renglón para dar. No, pero como lo estamos haciendo en el cuaderno. Uh -huh. Sí, pero primero armemos la Wendy. Ya. Yeah. Sí, ahorita sí. Ahorita la estamos armando. Entonces la segunda sería. Who, 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 who. Is, when is going to going to? All right, give me one second. Repeat okay. again. Repitan otra vez cómo iba. No lo entendí. La última pregunta. La última pregunta. Va. Van siguiendo la estructura que les di, ¿verdad? La última. La última. La, la última sí. estructura que les di. Uh -huh. La doble H, más B, más subject. So, in the question, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo va esa número tres? 
La número tres. When is arrived? No, no, porque arrive es el verbo. Ah, oh, sí. ¿Quiere ver? Mm -hmm. Recuerden que tienen WS Word, right? ¿Ya identificaron la mm -hmm. WS Word? Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Sí. When. Okay, after When. the WS Word mm -hmm. goes B. All right, the verb to be. What is uh -huh. the verb to be that we got there? E. E. Okay, that's correct. All right. Now, if you got the verb to be over there, right after the verb to be, what you need, it's basically the subject. What is the subject? Subject, uh-huh. What is the subject? The new material. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is the subject. The new material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, when is mm -hmm. the new mater material? Yes. Going to arrive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the way. Material mm -hmm. going to materials. When Material. is the new material going to arrive. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Esta es casi la traía en mil. <laughs> Who is the cheating? What's up, guys? You finished? ¿De dónde dijo que se iban a contestar no, las preguntas? Mm. Ya las armamos, pero ¿de dónde las vamos a contestar? Ok, no, the questions, básicamente ahí, mm, 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 mm. básicamente las van a tomar as according as it says in there, ¿qué dice arriba? Dice, put the words in order, then answer the questions. Ahí ustedes van a hacer las respuestas de acuerdo a ustedes, a como ustedes gusten. La idea es ah, la que la respuesta esté acorde a la pregunta. That's it. Okay. Mm, bueno. Por ejemplo, so you can say, uh, tienen la primera. Supongo que la primera les quedó. Where. Sí. Where. Ok. Are. Ajá. Ok. Where sí. are they going to pick yes, up the sí. package? Right? Yes. Sí, exactly. right. So basically you can say they are going to pick up the package at the post office at correos. But correos es lo mismo que post office. So eh, you gotta let that. Y ahí tiene la respuesta. Mm, okay. Thank right. you. Okay. Bueno, Ronald. ¿Qué le pone? ¿Cómo le ponemos ahí? Ahí le podemos poner, dice, ¿Quién recibirá el envío? Uh -huh. Bien, le podemos poner solamente un nombre para dejarlo como una formación corta o ponerlo, lo recibirá tal persona. Este, who is recibe? Ya lo oyó. Sí, en el teacher. Ay. Teacher. Yes. Sí, que yo creo que ya hicimos las preguntas, ¿no? porque uh -huh. yo le decía a Norma que hace un rato me sacó y no podía ingresar, entonces 
no estaba en la explicación. Uh -huh. Pero ella me explicaba de que teníamos que hacer las preguntas y luego darles una respuesta. That's correct. Pero por ejemplo, ajá, por ejemplo, tenemos, por ejemplo, en la última, ¿no? nosotros, uh -huh. yo creo que queda la pregunta ya ordenada. When is going to arrive the new material? Y no. no. En este caso, the new material sería el sujeto, el subject. Y si usted copió la, la estructura que di, cuando di, copié lo del, les presenté lo de la, de la information question, el subject va justo uh -huh. después de B. ¿Después de qué? Perdón. Después del verbo to be. Ah, entonces sería when is Ajá. the new material going to arrive. Exactly. No? Exactly. Así oh. sería. Ok, dice, pero ¿y para responder? Bueno, por en, ejemplo, ese caso, ¿cómo? en ese caso puede ser opcional. Usted puede decir, ah, the new material is going to arrive next week. O sea, que es libre de cómo uno lo pueda usar. No es que, por ejemplo, podría decir también de que él lo va a recibir mañana, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm, exactly. Tomorrow. There's no problem. Okay. Está bien. Gracias. Ok. Yeah, actually, it's uh, nine. De hecho, ya son las nueve en punto. <laughs> Ya, no, no. no va a pasar lista de nuevo. Exactly. Así que las voy a pasar al salón principal, a la sala principal, porque si no se me van a dormir los demás. <ríe> I think we're going to check this information tomorrow. Creo que mañana la vamos a, a revisar. Creo que you have already finished, así. We're going to do it, okay? See you in the main section. Okay. All right. Teacher. Hello. Do you like the beach? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I love, I love the beach. But, 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 when I go, I don't generally swim. What I do is I take my hammock, put it on, a, uh, on two trees, and sleep and eat, obviously. Seafood. But I don't generally. <laughs> You know, like like to to jump over the water and everything, but I I I do really love going to the beach. Actually, I got two beaches in here, close close from the place I live. I got uh, I don't know if you have heard El Espino Beach. I don't know. You have never heard El Espino. Never. What about Kupo? I love it. El Cuco Beach. Beautiful beach. Yes. So basically, El Cuco, it's mostly on, uh, on, uh, Central San Miguel, ca casi llegando a la Unión. Dijo, no voy a hablar mal del Cuco. Right? Huh? <laughs> no voy a hablar mal del Cuco. <laughs> no. Tenemos it's... que conservar la amistad, teacher. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, que son las dos playas que me quedan cerca, el cuco y el espino. El espino lo tengo como a, están cerca las dos playas. De hecho, es donde están creando la nueva calle del Fomilenio, ¿no? Son? No, 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 Fomilenio, del Soft Star City. Star City? Yeah, that one. Entonces, yes. yeah, you no. Know, from here, it's like 50 minutes from my house, como a 50 minutos en carro, y el cuco como una hora. Kind of. So it's pretty close, I mean. Sí, oh, es Relativa. Yeah. All right. Desde yeah. mi casa hasta allá, dos horas y media. They're super nice, pero aquí la gran mayoría se van para las playas de la libertad. Ah, bueno. Ah, Whatever it is, esas playas que están por ahí están muy bonitas, Ticha. Actually, yes. 
Castro y más barato. <ríe> ok. Sí, definitivamente. Definitely, yeah. Entonces, un licuado que cuesta acá un dólar, ya cuesta como tres o cuatro. Yeah, man. A little bit expensive. All right. So, I guess, guys. Mariscos son café. Exactly. I guess you have already finished on that. By tomorrow, listen up. By tomorrow, we're going to check all the information that you got. Vamos a revisar esas preguntas que ordenaron mañana. Asimismo, la respuesta que les dieron. All right? So, by tomorrow, we're going to try to complete that one. Yeah, Brenda? Pero el, con Wendy no entendimos las respuestas de dónde salen, porque estamos viendo nuestros apuntes, pero no logramos esas, saber de dónde salen las respuestas. Esas, esas eran personales. Ah, esa era mi duda. Eran personales. Ahí está. Ah, okay. De acuerdo a la pregunta. Ajá, eso estaba pens estábamos pensando, pero no estábamos seguros. Ya, yeah, por okay. ejemplo. Entonces mañana las trabajamos, bueno. All right, so, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, la última dice, when is the new material going to arrive? Ah, the new material is going to arrive tomorrow, next week, next month. So you see? Uh, a short answer like that. All right, good. So I am going to go ahead and pass the attendance list porque ya veo que tienen sueño, se está durmiendo limpia, así que... Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the attendance list. Oh, let me see. Nina Janet. Selena, are you there? I appreciate it. All right. Hey Selena. Uh you haven't I given me uh all right. Give me give me one second. Give me un segundo, por favor. Sorry, I got it wrong. My cat was getting out. Okay, good. Uh, Selena, did, did we have the feedback? Ya tuvimos los eh, minutos de retroalimentación, Selena. Because I'm not sure. Selena, are you there? No, la escuché, teacher, ¿qué dijo? Hemos tenido el feedback con usted. Se me cortó. ¿Verdad que con usted no he tenido los 10 minutos de feedback? Va a estar bien. Ok, good, tonight. Con ese va a estar bien, ya, ya me doy por enterado que no. Ok, good, so stay with me after class. Cristian Eduardo. Present. Ok, nice. Denis Gerardo. Present. Hey. All right, Diana Carolina. Diana, all right, so she's not here. Diego Jose. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Edwin Leonel. Present, teacher. Okay, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. All right. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, excellent. Jorge Antonio. Present. Good. Karen Lisset. Present. Mm -hmm. uh, Carla. Dígale. Okay. Dígale, all right, que se siga conectando, que no hay problema, puesto que ya está inscrita, ¿ok? Just tell her like Ok, that. teacher. She can continue, ¿ok? Because she is subscribed to the course, right? So she can take it normally, ¿ok? Bueno, teacher. Ok, good. Thank you for the information. Carla Patricia. Present. All right. Luis Humberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, it's there. Norma Yamilet. 
present. Ok, nice. Paulina Olimpia. Present. <ríe> ok, good. Ronald Ulises. Present. All right, nice. Uh, Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Ok. Walter Enrique. Present. Ok. Wendy Beatriz. Present. All right, nice. Janira Isabel. Present. Uh, sorry, Brenda. Y más que usted es la última, ya con sueño, right? Uh, Brenda Elizabeth. <laughs> You got the microphone off. <laughs> Tiene el micrófono apagado, Brenda. <laughs> Teacher, no me, no me habilitaron la plataforma. Yo no he podido ingresar a la oh, plataforma. Come on, are you serious? Ay. Bueno, lo voy a pasar otra vez el dato a sí mismo porque igual eh, me acaban de informar. Yo, le, yo, he estado, yo, he estado contactando, yo he estado contactando a la chica que supuestamente nos iba a dar soporte y que quede grabado, que no me han contestado. Yo les he escrito no, y no, no me han contestado. No, no, no se preocupe, voy a hacerlo directamente con el coordinador para que ahí sí, ahí sí haya respuesta, no problema. Brenda, ya. Brenda fíjate que a mí no me aparecía, pero... Me metí al Gmail, ahí ya me aparecía la, la dirección para poderme este, conectar. No sé si ha revisado tu Gmail. Teacher. Yes. Um, yo intenté hacerlo, yo intenté hacerlo ya no buscando, no buscando el enlace, sino ingresando con mi correo directamente. Y no, no me lo carga. No, pero no te has fijado ahí si te mandan la, la notificación, porque ahí, eh, ahí sale la notificación para, para es que, que puedas ingresar. O, o a veces la notificación aparece cuando ya está ya está eh, puesto entonces ustedes win ya tiene ya ya lo ya, ya puede acceder sí hoy en la mañana me chequeé ahí ah, y genial. ya pude ingresar perfecto para Richard, yo no, ¿qué? Richard, Ajá, Richard yo puedo entrar es que yo entro pero no carga el, el Ajá, módulo entonces 4. en el caso exactamente de... Ajá. Ok, en el caso de Parrilla, Brenda, Cristian, usted tampoco, ¿verdad? Sí, estaba, me, estaba entrando, pero hoy que volví a entrar ya no me, ya no me agarró. Ya solo me salían los archivados. Correcto, Ajá. vaya, entonces voy a pasar el dato, al igual que la otra persona que me mandó un mensaje, eh, pero se lo voy a enviar al coordinador para que mañana sí o sí esa, es, esos módulos ya les aparezcan, ¿ok? El punto es que usted mañana va a pasar revisión de, de tarea y, y ni existimos. O sea. No, no problem. Les voy a dar ahí eh, por lo menos un pequeño tiempo de compensación si no terminan, ¿ok? Ah, no, no tiene que dar copia, teacher, porque ya vamos a ir bien atrasados. <risa> no, sí, sí. Fácil, sí les, 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 los voy a, los, les voy a mandar los datos de, de mañana en la mañana para que bien temprano les, les, les habiliten eso, ¿ok? Yo no problemas anymore. Gracias, en mi caso, solo es de rectificar el correo y ellos ya lo saben porque me ha pasado en los tres, primer, en los tres anteriores. El ¿No correo no, no le aparece. No, ajá, he tenido siempre este mismo, esta misma sí, situación. Puede acceder a la plataforma, pero el módulo no le aparece. Ese es el detalle. No Va. me aparece. Genial. Va. Ok. Good. Thank you. Entonces, mañana okay, voy a, vamos a hacer eso. Ok. All right, good night, guys. Espero que tengan una excelente noche y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Ok, bye, bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, Voy a ser consciente de eso, ¿ok? Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, bye. Good night, guys. Bye, Brenda. Bye, bye. All right, Selena. Basically, what we are going to be doing, it's just a short feedback about what we were discussing, right? Um, the past classes. So, este tiempo es básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a este tema. 
o esta clase o clases anteriores. So, I don't know, Selena, if you have any question with that. No sé si hay alguna pregunta con relación con la estructura que no esté del todo clara. Mm, fíjense que como no estuve en las dos primeras clases uh -huh. y estuve viendo las tareas Ajá. y veo que han hablado, bueno, ahí dice de que cuentan y no cuentan. De los contables no sé. y no contables, ajá. Ah, ah, y, y según estoy viendo acá también el manual, how much, me imagino que ha de ser en cuanto a, en relación en cuanto a eso. Eh. Correcto. How much y how many. Correcto. No. Okay. How much es más que todo para crear preguntas, just create questions, con nombres que no podemos contar. Right? Con how much. Uh -huh. And how many. Sí. How many es con nombres, para crear preguntas, con nombres que sí podemos contar, right? Puesto que how many significa cuántos o cuántas. And how much es básicamente cuánto. So basically, that's like one of uh, the topics. Sí, es parte de lo que estuvimos discutiendo la primera clase, right? Sí, sí. All right, so just give me one second. I need to check on what you... Got in here. Ah, ya. Tiene ahorita. Eh, ha hecho dos tareas nada más, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí este. Más o menos. Bueno, quizás por los módulos anteriores, más o menos. No se me ha quedado algo, pero igual este. Necesitaba que me lo aclarara un poco. Ajá, vaya. Bueno, vamos a ver. Se lo voy a poner de este modo, un poco más fácil. Este. Sí, ese está un poco bastante entendible. Ajá. Pero el, el de el has to y how, how to, no sé, algo así. Yes. Sería el de la siguiente clase. Class number two, correcto. Y tiene, tiene inconvenientes en uh -huh. ese o dudas. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo Bye. usarían eso? Ok, good. Tenemos we have to, all right. Y en este lado vamos a poner... Uh -huh. Has to. Vaya, have to and has to es lo mismo. Solo que have to lo usamos cuando mencionamos los siguientes pronombres. Mire, que actúan como subject. Cuando ponemos uh -huh. I, you, we, the they. O cuando usamos plural nouns. ¿A qué nos referimos con plural nouns? Por ejemplo, the students. Es algo plural. O si yo digo, ¿Qué se Selena and uh, Mario, for example. ¿Cuántas personas estamos hablando ahí? Two, right? Estamos hablando de, de dos personas. Uh -huh. Exactly. Entonces, allí es un plural. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando tengamos estos subjects, estos que tenemos acá, entonces usamos have to. Has to, por el otro lado, se usa para los pronombres he, she, it, ¿ok? En singular nouns y nombres en singular. Un nombre en singular podría ser the student, el estudiante, right? O when we mention one single person, like in this case, Selena. It's only one person acá, ya solo hablamos de una persona, right? Ahora bien, when to use have to or has to. ¿Para qué se utiliza have to and has to? It shows obligation. Para denotar obligación. All right? La estructura nos sirve para a, hablar sobre obligaciones. Have to significa tener que. That's the real meaning of it. ¿Ok? Great. For example, vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos. Mire, la estructura que comúnmente usamos sería el subject plus have to plus verb plus complement. This is the structure. ¿Ok? An example. I have to. 
clean my room. You see? I have to clean my room. It's like, tengo que limpiar mi cuarto. Es básicamente una obligation, right? So basically in there we're talking about an obligation. Another obligation. Can you tell me an obligation that you have? Selena, can you uh -huh. tell, tell me an obligation that you have? Dígame una obligación que usted tiene. Um, yo tengo que leer todos los días. Okay, ¿cómo me dirías? I have to... Uh, okay, I have... I have to read in the, the book. Uh, let's say, the book every day. Everything. Good, todos los días. Okay, I have to read the book every day. Algo que nosotros dos hacemos siempre todos los días. Por ejemplo, we have to work every day. So you see, that's an obligation. Yeah. Right? Sí, Estamos sí. denotando ahí obligación. Okay. All right. Okay. Ahora bien. Ahora, para los singulares de tercera persona, tenemos casi la misma estructura. Subject plus. Oops, plus. Has to. Aquí es has to. Plus. Verb. Plus complement. It goes like this. Ahora bien, un ejemplo en tercera persona sería he yeah. has to Speak English. It's like, he has to speak English. Como, él tiene que hablar inglés. So, you see, estamos hablando de una obligación. Ahora bien, give me an example. De ahora, deme un ejemplo usted. Entonces, pero quiero entender bien, cabal. Entonces, I have y uh, I do, este, significa lo mismo. Have to y has to. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo, lo mismo. mismo. solo que have to, have to es usado para esos pronombres que le di y has to es usado uh -huh. para esos otros, pero significa uh -huh. lo mismo, es, es exactamente lo mismo. Sí, sí. Significa tener que. Tener que. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... Sí. He, she is too. She has to. She has to. Uh -huh. Para bañarse. Everything. Everything. Okay. She has to. Uh, give me one second. Shower. She has to take. A shower. <laughs> you see? She has to take a shower. Right? So this is the way how you got it. You see? I mean, ella tiene que bañarse. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> oh, ahorita que yo le dije, ah, Selena, deme un ejemplo. Eso era como una, una obligación, right? Entonces, yo le puedo decir, Selena has to uh share an example you see i mean eh, mm -hmm. selena tiene que compartir un ejemplo so you see esto es, ya suena a una obligación an obligation right okay entonces these are like the differences estas son las diferencias en cómo usar have to and has to pero las dos significan lo mismo y son usadas mm -hmm. para denotar una obligación right it's just to show obligation. Okay, teacher. Um, Good. I don't know if you have any other uh, doubt. No sé si hay otra duda con respecto a alguna otra estructura. Con la de hoy, bueno, todas las estructuras están bastante fáciles de entender. Mm -hmm. um, 
en cuanto a lo, lo que vimos a hoy, hoy este uh -huh. eh, lo de las direcciones, no sé, me, me enchivole un poquito ahí. Ajá, no, es que, es que, vaya, en cuanto a lo de las direcciones, sí, eh, en lo del shipping label, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, es que, vaya, cuando dice shipping, uh -huh. no me equivoco, shipping address, like this, se uh -huh. refiere a la dirección del lugar de donde se envía el paquete. Y luego de, tiene... De dónde sale, como digamos de dónde sale. Exacto. Y luego tenemos mailing address. La idea es... Mailing address significa el lugar hacia donde se dirige el paquete. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces creo que aquí es donde hubo mayor confusión, ¿verdad? Porque la varios, varios se confundieron en esta parte. Sí, sí. Porque shipping address y mailing address básicamente es lo mismo. Dirección de envío. Solo que la primera... Sí, porque yo... La... ¿Sí? Cuando yo lo busqué en el traductor, este, busqué los dos, vea, ahí igual lo mismo. Y los dos les leyeron lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ahí me dijeron ellos, mis compañeros de la sala, me... no, no, no significa lo mismo, pero igual, el significado sí, pero lo... Para, sí, para el, el sentido que se le da, el sentido que se le da, el significado es el mismo, solo que el sentido es diferente. Ya, yeah, por lo general, shipping address uh -huh. es el lugar de origen, right Ese es el shipping, uh -huh. shipping address. Y el mailing address es el lugar de destino. Uh -huh. Eso es más claro. <ríe> okay. Ay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, no, sé, no sé si hay otra cosa o hasta ahí eran las dudas. Hasta ahí. No. Es de, lo, lo de la tarea sí se, tendríamos que hacerla. ¿verdad? Sí, este, ya para, para mañana, mañana, como ahora es tarea 4, ya para mañana eh, que terminamos clase 5, terminamos la primera semana, eh, para mañana sería ya de tener las primeras cinco tareas en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Así le harían falta tres. ¿Ok? Sí, sí, sí. Ahorita la voy a hacer. Gracias, Richard. Thank you. Thank you to you. Right. So now I, want, I hope you have a good night. ¿Ok? Nos vemos mañana. Espero tenga una excelente noche. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.